Git is a distributed version control system, or DVCS, that has had a huge increase in popularity in the past few years. A DVCS allows developers to have full copies of version control and current history in their machines. This enables local commits, branches, and other features that we will explore throughout this course. Before we dive into Git and its features, it is important to understand how a DVCS differs from the version control systems that you are probably used to. Not only that, but understand the process or workflow that is used by the different version control models. We're going to take a look at the different source control models that you may be used to while working with Visual Studio. And finally, we will take a look at how Git and other distributed version control systems operate. A centralized version control system has a master repository that everyone connects to in order to work with source files. When you want to work with any of the files, you get a copy of the file locally, edit it, and then check the file back into the centralized repository. Everyone shares the same repository, and any commits that you make immediately impact the rest of the team. There are two main approaches that are used by centralized version control systems. Check-in, check-out, which was used by systems such as Visual Source Safe and by Team Foundation Server up until 2010. This model requires you to let the server know before you start working with the file, which is an operation commonly known as a checkout. If the file is downloaded locally, but is not checked out, you would usually receive an error when trying to edit the file, especially outside of your development environment. If you take a look at the files that are not checked out, you can see that they have a read-only flag set. This model typically forces teams to always have a connection established with a centralized repository before they can start making changes to the files. If you are disconnected from the server, you can always change the file attributes and remove the read-only flag in order to make the changes. Visual Studio gives you a way to reconnect to the server once you are back online, but that operation seems to be troublesome at times. The other model is Edit Commit, which is used by SVN, TFS2010 and above and others. This model still requires you to download files locally, but once you are ready to make changes to any file, there is no need to contact the central repository until you are done and you are ready to check in. Locally, the version control system keeps cached versions of the original files. This model has much better support for offline changes. But obviously, you can only make changes to files, and you have to wait to connect before you can commit your changes. You also don't have any access to a file's version history while you are disconnected. In most cases, this is okay, but there are certain cases where offline access to history and a way to commit your changes and create branches would come in handy.